Greetings, I'm Mark Fronmeyer, CEO and founder of Arkimoto. Arkimoto is an Oregon C Corp founded in 2007 with the mission to build products that catalyze the shift to a sustainable transportation system. I'm going to start this presentation with an overview video and then dive into Arkimoto's big overarching goals for the road ahead. You can sign up for investor updates and find supplementary information, including our earnings press releases, financial filings, presentation materials, and webinar replays on our investor relations page at arcmoto.com slash IR. To start, I want to call your attention to our safe harbor disclaimer regarding forward-looking statements. This note identifies risk factors that may cause our actual results to differ materially from the content of our forward-looking statements for the reasons that we cite in our Form 10-Q and other SEC filings. Now on to the goods. At Arkimoto, we build light, electric, ultra-efficient rides that are outrageously fun to drive for a reason. Our vision is a city that doesn't suck anymore. Today's city is dominated by the car. We pave over nearly half our urban land for these giant, multi-ton extractive machines that we mostly drive alone or with just one other person and leave parked rusting for 95% of their life. That's nuts. We believe that by right-sizing, electrifying, and better utilizing our rides, we can reclaim our space, clean our air, and make our cities much more livable for everyone. We built a new human-scale vehicle platform and a family of products dialed for a wide range of everyday trips. The fun utility vehicle for daily driving, rentals, and rideshare. The Deliverator for last mile delivery of essential food and goods. The Rapid Responder for emergency services and security. The Flatbed for general fleet utility. And the Roadster, a fun machine that drives like nothing else on the road. Every Arkimoto is pure electric with range for everyday driving, have rockstar parking as a standard feature, and accelerate from zero to fun instantly. Our experience model is rental first, with operations open in multiple destination markets and more on the way to give potential adopters a taste of the ride. I've been driving it everywhere. I'm just like a 16 year old. I don't even care where I go or why I go there. I go out and I get in and I just drive around. That's an awesome, awesome machine right there. It's quiet, it's got plenty of power, all the power you need and it's just comfortable. Everybody wants it when they see it, and they haven't even driven it yet. The real joy is when you get to drive it, and then you just get the feeling of what it's all about. I'd also like to give a big shout out to the Arkimoto team. Your workmanship and design is awesome. The full future Arkimoto vision adds driverless technology to make shared rides much more convenient. Imagine a city where your personal transportation is available at the touch of a button on your phone. Enjoy the experience of driving again. And when you reach your destination, you just hop out. And the Arkimoto is available for its next driver. We're in production now. Every Arkimoto is built here in the AMP where we transform raw material through cutting, forming, welding, machining, and final assembly all under one roof. To take the venture to scale, we purchased a new, much larger facility and teamed with Sandy Monroe and Associates with the goal of kicking off mass production late next year. Finally, we acquired Tilting Motorworks, developers of the Trio accessory that can turn two-wheeled motorcycles into amazing tilting three-wheelers. Together, we're building a new ultralight micromobility solution for the rapidly growing global electric bike and scooter marketplace. With our overarching focus on scale, this year we plan to demonstrate the full breadth of Arkimoto solutions for sustainable mobility and expand our market presence as we prepare for the next decade of the venture's growth. Arkimoto is a public company. We've been powered since our inception by a community of stakeholders with whom we share a mission to catalyze sustainable transportation. I hope you'll join us. The name Arkimoto means literally archetype I drive, or I drive the future, and is the brand identity for the next generation of drivers. Arkimoto's mission directly inspires the company's values, values we believe are fundamental to its achievement. We put people first, 
our customers, our team, and the stakeholders who propel us along the way. We are lean by design, continuously improving what we build and how we build it. Our impact on the world is always front and center. And if we're not having fun, it'll show up in what we offer. And we are and continue to attract 18 players who have the hustle, grit, and collaborative instinct to get the job done right. Arkimoto is a new transportation endeavor, unencumbered by the legacy of 20th century automotive business models. We generate awareness and sell online, and have teamed with DHL for the direct distribution of our products to customers. Rather than franchise dealerships or company test drive outlets, both of which carry ongoing overhead, we focused our in-market experience on rentals and eventually vehicle sharing as a service. We have rental outlets open in Key West, San Diego, and Eugene, as well as through go-cars in San Francisco, with more destinations coming soon. Arkimoto's small, light footprint platform makes it ideal for mobile service, where most customers' issues can be handled on site. And for long-term ongoing maintenance, the electric drivetrain's robustness and simplicity means that most wear items should be serviceable by existing lightweight automotive service companies. The company's big top-level goals are, first, to design and implement the pattern for mass production of Arkimoto's vehicles, such that we can rapidly produce vehicles for the global marketplace. Second, to deploy the intersection of future transportation technologies for shared, ultra-efficient vehicles with a business model that wins as we demonstrate the full product portfolio of solutions for sustainable mobility, including a multitude of variants on our core platform. And finally, to deliver a new family of solutions for true micromobility. Arkimoto is presently producing vehicles in low volume for early customers, providing us a critical early market presence and depth of knowledge of the performance of the platform on the road. To scale to mass production, We've acquired a new facility with more than 200,000 square feet of production space under roof on more than 10 acres. We've teamed with lean design and automotive production experts to plan for volume manufacture, targeting a maximum output of 50,000 units per year. Engineering and production planning are now moving ahead full steam, and construction on the new site is expected to start in Q4. The planned output of this effort is not just a production facility, but the complete set of plans to scale Arkimoto's output here and around the world, meaning significant effort to standardize all processes and documentation to more easily replicate these 50,000 unit production cores in other locales, sharing a single robust global supply chain. Since its inception, Arkimoto's vision has included the integration of driverless technologies to more conveniently share vehicles and drive up utilization, and for the first time, we've demonstrated driverless technology in the real world. This summer at our showcase, Arkimoto and partners demonstrated a remotely controllable fun utility vehicle, including the foundational technology layers necessary for autonomy. While we see merit in the long-term aspiration of the perfect robo-taxi that lets you focus on Twitter instead of the road, Arkimoto's Robo Valet initiative is focused squarely on near-term shippable intermediaries that reduce the cost of the vehicle sharing business model. One element that separates Arkimoto from every other EV venture we've seen is the true flexibility of the Arkimoto platform for a wide range of everyday driving uses. Each of our products is largely the same, sharing the same battery, drivetrain, chassis, wheels, braking system, and so on, which are ultimately additive to our economy of scale. For the consumer market, we produce the fun utility vehicle and the Roadster, with a planned commuter vehicle down the road. We offer the FUV, Deliverator, and now the flexible flatbed for the fleet market. And the platform has uses even in very specialized niche applications, such as the Cameo we've built for on-road filming. All of the work we're doing now to demonstrate the flexibility and applicability of the platform is feeding back into the design process for mass production ensuring that what we build continues to be ever more adaptable for a wide range of everyday uses. As we look down the road, our first platform is just the beginning. We aim to continually lighten the footprint of mobility. To that end, last year we began the Skunk Works development of the Mean Lean Machine, 
targeted squarely at the rapidly growing e-bike marketplace. This vehicle will be chock full of new electric vehicle technology. We are actually reinventing the wheel this time. We believe it will perfectly complement our go-to-market strategy of rentals and rideshare and will set a new bar for efficiency, utility, and affordability for a wide range of transportation tasks. We acquired Tilting Motorworks at the beginning of this year to accelerate development of that program. But I want to take a moment to talk about what else we got in that deal. An existing product line for motorcycle riders who don't want to fall over anymore. Our Trio accessory transforms a motorcycle into an amazing three-wheeled tilting machine and we see giant market potential for this product. In the US alone, there are more than 12 million motorcycles in use, and the Trio is already adapted to the leading big bikes, Indians, Goldwings, and Harleys, of which 180,000 were sold last year worldwide. In summary, Arkimoto is shipping and continuing to further develop kick-ass, ultra-efficient electric three-wheelers and advanced vehicle technologies alongside a world-class team with whom we share a mission to right-size mobility as we grow our market presence in preparation for volume production. For the challenges ahead, we will continue to improve the experience for the Arconauts, our early customers and riders, their vehicles, the first-time user experience, and sales, service, and communication processes. We will continue to cultivate our leadership skills as our team and demands expand. And this means continued emphasis on process, culture, and our core values. We will maintain our focus on the health and safety of our team during an ongoing pandemic, and the planet's not waiting around. The IPCC's Code Red is our call to action. We must continue to step up our production pace amidst the churn in order to make the contribution for which we are called.